okay, being a ghost doesn't sound that great. I didn't really ever think it was going to sound that great, honestly, though. What's up, Rap Fan? Today, we are experiencing a very unique, a very somber, a very different visual novel called Ghost Story. And it might not be what you're thinking it might be. What? Yes. So let's get right to it. Okay. Wow. He, he's he, do, do whatever this is is um doing some somersaults. They come to us without a word. Okay. Creepy. Oh. 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 Also. Oh, it's up to me to like find the thing that goes upside down, like the upside down world. Interesting. They noticed the differences after a few months. Something had changed. Not only themselves, but also the world around them was different. The wind swept briskly beneath <clears throat> Gotta get my reading voice on. The wind swept briskly beneath the door cracks in time, days, weeks, months had become denser. Ooh, okay, being a ghost doesn't sound that great. I didn't really ever think it was gonna sound that great, honestly though. Being a ghost like, I think it'd be kind of cool depending on how you die and when you die and your personality. I think it'd be interesting to like, you know, fuck with some people, you know, people maybe that did you dirty in life. Just to, just to give them a little spook. I'm not talking about like some poltergeist shit, but you know, just like misplacing their car keys, like little annoyances like that. And then you laughing. But then I guess eventually, you know, they would, you know, move away, get old. It would get old. That'd be sad. If you could be ghosts with other people though, and have like a ghost party, that could be interesting. Okay, back to the game. Sometimes the silence in the apartment was unbearable. It was like a vacuum they lived in, but also outside among people on lively shopping streets, they found no escape. It was as if the others looked right through them. They wanted to get noticed, to shout at them, but they could not make a sound. Okay, yeah, so you can't even haunt people. There goes the perk. But you'd be outside. So you don't necessarily have to be trapped. Of course, maybe it just happens where you die. Interesting, I got a lot of questions. Oh, I wonder what the whole upside down thing means. Maybe like upright is the living world and upside down is the ghost world. Both felt the same way, but they did not tell each other about it. Their feelings weren't within their reach and they just couldn't articulate it quite right. They could only feel the strange silence. Hmm. Now, is it two ghosts together? Is this an actual story about two living people, maybe? Or is it about a living person and a dead person? Again, so many questions. Okay, so they're the ebb and flow, right? It's they're they're entwined together. So I'm gonna say it's like living and dead. I feel like there's there could be a lot of symbolism here, or it could just be interesting pictures. You never quite know, do you? Some door had opened. Thoughts that did not go away and cannot be thought away anymore. Something had changed forever. It came slowly, soft-footed. In the beginning, there were occasional thoughts which could easily be discarded. But then they settled and showed up starting from the early morning, just after waking up. And the more one wants to banish them, the stronger they get. They always go away just for a short time. Maybe while one is reading a book or looking through the window, but then they suddenly come back to the surface without prior warning. We are haunted. There is only one short rest. Then it goes to the next round. Okay, maybe I'm taking this way too literal. Maybe it's actually not a literal ghost story. Maybe it's about like being haunted by your past. So ghosts from your past, maybe something you did, maybe someone specifically interesting they heard noises under their beds nope i'm gonna go back to it's a real ghost story they could see them from the corner of their eyes but if they looked directly there was nothing to see they couldn't decide what was the better thing to do ignore them and try not to listen or to approach them speak to them that's a good dilemma honestly because like on one hand if you ignore them maybe they don't know you notice so then they'll just poof and disappear. That being said, maybe that'll anger them and then they'll start ramping up the shit they're gonna do. Oh my god, whenever I talk about anything ghost related, I seriously get goosebumps in this room. It freaks me the fuck out, man. I love paranormal shit, but 
that is like the one thing that is for sure to get me afraid. There's just something about the paranormal man. I get it. Not all ghosts have to be bad. I'm not saying I believe in ghosts one way or another, but some freaky shit that's unexplainable sometimes happens. And you know, it it's a little frightening. Okay, again, I'm getting sidetracked. This 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 story has my mind a buzzing. So what would you do? Would you talk to them or would you ignore them? I don't know. We are haunted. The rooms are haunted. Okay. Oh, creepy. Oh, yep. Mm, I'm sure at one time this wasn't a creepy picture, but you know, it looks old, so that automatically bring, it brings a creepiness factor to it. They began to keep watch during the night. Inside, they knew that it would not help, but they had the feeling that someone had to stay awake at all time. Dude, move, okay? Just, just go, abandon it, walk away. It's okay, bankruptcy, not that bad. Maybe out of fear, maybe to merely create the appearance of control. The night stayed quiet and after some time, they nearly thought it all was just their imagination until one night. That's like another thing. Like first off, if there's some spooky shit happening in my house, like a little bit, you know, you'll think it's your imagination. You don't want to be a big baby about it. You don't want to waste money. But to the point where I'm staying up every night, no, 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 no. I am leaving. I'm washing my hands of the place. I'm deucing out of there. You won't catch me there if something barely scary happens. You know what I'm saying? Like undeniably scary. Like a door slams in your face. Okay, I can't talk about this. I'm seriously getting afraid. There was a strange glow under the bed. Yep, like that. Gone. She shouted, but no one answered. Slowly, unwillingly. She slipped to the edge of the bed and tried to look under it. And that is where you fucked up, okay? You, you just, you run. You just run. You, you don't think about it. You run. You grab your car keys, you wear your pajamas, and you get out of there. Eh, grab your dog and cat, though. Don't leave them. That's fucked up. Okay, a bunch of creepy things. Um, why don't you leave me alone? I can't do it. Um, can't do what? What can't you do? Why don't you leave me alone? Um, I can't do it. Can't do what? Can't talk to me? Can't, can't communicate? Can't leave? Wait, is this, is there a code here? Is this a code? What's happening? I lead a double life. I saw him lying underneath with a pocket flashlight in his hand. In the night, while I was sleeping, with his back turned to me, his torch blinds me. In the night, I am dazzling someone else. I saw his back. He talks to someone else. I pulled myself up again. What? Angst? For? Angst for? Who was he talking to? Breathe. Be quiet. Someone's possessed? Am I seeing a ghost or is someone possessed? Oh. Y'all got multiple heads. Okay. Took a hot bath, so hot that it was just bearable. Dove in with... Th what? Dove in. Three with her head, wanted to forget everything and just sink into four of the foam. Five. Time went by and as blank came out of the water. Six. Oh my god, I'm getting shivers down my fucking spine right now. <sighs> Six. All sorrows. Seven. Blank felt light and unburdened until eight. Blank. Gaze wandered to the ceiling. What the fuck is that trying to say? Okay, so someone took a bath, dove in with her head, wanted to forget everything and just sink into the foam. Gotcha, wanted to relax, you saw something creepy, you're trying to forget it. I wouldn't be taking a bath in a creepy house though. Have you not seen a lot of the horror movies where creepy stuff happens in the bathroom? You're very vulnerable, you're naked. Okay, ooh buddy, that is so creepy. Oh, you got mold? You either got mold or a hole in your ceiling. Either way, you should get it looked at. Seemed to be further away than normal. The paint had, which had spread all over the wall, left the tub and wrapped a fresh towel around. Why are they not showing the names or like key words? Oh, oh, I, I, I can, oh, I, I can hide words. Why? Oh no, was I supposed to be doing this the whole time? Left the tub and wrapped a fresh towel around. 
went through the apartment on wet feet. The water from blank hair trickled onto the wooden floor. In the door frame was a notch which I had never seen before, as well as another hole in the wall behind the desk. Couldn't understand how they could have overlooked this this whole time. You didn't, okay? Something creepy is happening. Why, why, why is the words disappearing? One time they sat side by side on the couch watching TV. Both had been very quiet the whole day. They watched in silence while eating the warmed up meal from yesterday. Suddenly, Blank paused, stopped the movement, the fork still in the air and said pondering, still looking at the TV. Sometimes one forgets the others are real human beings, have their own thoughts and a whole world inside themselves. Sometimes one has to remember that so as to not forget it. Interesting. Blank turned around to Blank and looked at Blank with a strange eerie look. Blank got goosebumps. Then Blank turned back to the TV and they both resumed eating and did not talk anymore. How are you okay with this? I don't understand. Dude just said some possessed shit, okay? Y'all crazy. I don't get it. Back to the hole in the wall. Okay, yeah, very concerning. Your energy bill is going to be through the roof. On that day, and it was the last, she had a bad feeling in her stomach. She's just now having a bad feeling in her stomach. I've had a bad feeling in my stomach since day fucking one. The feeling had set in her stomach and everywhere else, and she couldn't shake it off. Her contact lenses itched in her eyes, and her sight was blurred. She had blinked all the time. She f blink? Blink. She had to blink all the time. I was like, blink doesn't sound right. Blunk? Blinked. Oh, maybe it is blinked. The feeling as if she might had put them in the wrong eyes. The right one in the left and the left one in the right. For a short moment, she had to think about where there was left and there was right. After she remembered, she stood still for a moment and raised her dominant arm, the right one. She felt a bit stupid. Everyone's been there, girl. She shook her head and proceeded walking at a faster pace. As long as she behaved normally, everything would be normal as well. Oh! One of them is totally a ghost. One of them is totally a ghost. One's alive. Gotcha. She's the ghost. Maybe. We'll find out, hopefully. While she continued walking, she noticed she had become lost. That was str Oh, the house changed. She's been dead for so long. That was strange, because she always took this route. Despite that, the street in the area was unfamiliar. She had also started to sweat and then to shiver because of the cold. And then she was hit with full force. Okay. Well, that was unsettling. What was she hit with full force? The realization that she was dead, the time it kept moving on around her, that she was no longer in the world that she thought she was in? I don't know, just a few ideas. She couldn't see the faces of the people on the street anymore. They had become indistinct and blurred, indefinable gray lumps. She felt ill and dizzy. She had to hold onto a railing so as not to fall down. But then she flinched because she couldn't recognize the railing anymore. She knew it was there, she knew it. It was dark green railing, but she couldn't see it. There were just parallel rods, but they didn't serve a purpose, were made by nobody, made just no sense. As she looked up, there was no houses anymore. The houses were not houses. She could glance through and could only see the pieces, the atoms, but not the house as a whole anymore. The house was just there, and amorphous figures, which had been people at one time but not anymore, were walking in and out. Also, the rest of the city consisted of atoms. Sometimes she stumbled upon them or bumped against them, but she didn't know what it was or had been, and she made her way forward, struggling through the entanglement of absurd quirks. Well, this sounds awful. She didn't want to look at herself. She was scared that she was a purposeless being herself. An unspeakable horror crept over her. Her senses were numb, or maybe she could now see much more than before. As if everything was unveiled around her, everything was vacant, even a bit absurd. For example, this street sign, or whatever it was, she couldn't even decipher. It was so ridiculous she could only stand before it and laugh hysterically. 
Oh, she lost her mind. She walked on and soon fell ill again because she thought about the sign, and the sign was there after all humans were dead, and it would mean nothing like herself. And she was a sign, simply there. But maybe she wasn't and had never been and had only disguised herself amongst all the other signs. What does that even mean? Is she like losing her mind? She's losing track of the concept of reality. Is that it? Like, I don't get it. At one time, everything went the wrong direction, but we didn't know whether we could have changed something. Maybe there had been places, places we shouldn't have been to, people we shouldn't have talked to, thoughts we shouldn't have thought. Okay, sometimes you can't control your thoughts, okay? But it was too late for a long time now, and the vents had grown their own consciousness and didn't want to return to their old places. You lost me, bud. The end. It is never the end. Inspired by my own existential angst. Okay, I like that. Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> wow, um, existential crisis for sure. Uh, I mean, I get we all f at times feel like maybe we're not on the right path, we're not doing the right thing, we're feeling a little trapped, a little a little caged in, I get that. But if you're, if you're feeling like that for an extended period of time and you can't like talk yourself out of it, you, you, you need to talk to someone, okay? Because that, that's, that's not a good feeling for anyone to be in. Your life has meaning if you give it. You know, sometimes I'll hear someone who has off on the weekend say like, oh man, I wasted the week and I did nothing. Well, isn't that doing something? There, there is enjoyment in doing nothing. I certainly love to do nothing. It's, it's the relaxation of doing, to being completely free. Sometimes doing nothing is very, very freeing. So if you're someone that feels like you waste a day if you don't accomplish a list of things, maybe try a day where you, your thing that you're setting out to do is to do nothing and then feel like, yeah, I accomplished something by doing nothing, you know? Take a step back, chill out. This ghost story, that's the lesson I think that you can be learned here somehow. That's the lesson I pulled out of this. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it and would like to see me play or experience more visual novels, please give this video a big thumbs up so that I know you liked it, want to see more like it, I already said that. But it also helps out this video, helps out this channel, helps out this community, and I'm greatly appreciative. So until next time, keep up the radness, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.